Hey all, Tim here, and welcome to another remote episode of EDO90. I'm here at home and recording on my Chromebook. On our last episode, we looked at some updates that can help foster learning when it's not possible for teachers and students to be in the same room. And today, we'll walk through three key steps for setting up offline mode for Chromebooks and G Suite for Education so you can keep the classroom running even without online access. And heads up, you may want to enlist the help of your EdTech or IT teams as G Suite administrator access is needed to roll out offline mode for all users. Let's get started. Before we start, keep in mind that you'll need to go through these steps before going offline to ensure the best experience for you and your students. If possible, take a few minutes to guide everyone through the process while they're still on a reliable Wi-Fi network. Step one is to enable offline access for all users through the Google Admin Console. Your G Suite administrator can do this using instructions for managed devices. In the Features and Applications section of the Admin Console, located under Drive and Docs, administrators can click to allow users to enable offline access. After your school's G Suite administrator has enabled offline access, all G Suite users, including teachers, students, and staff, will need to download the Google Docs offline extension for the Chrome browser. This will let everyone continue using Google Docs, Sheets, Drive, and Slides without online access, so students can complete coursework and assignments even if they're at home without an internet connection. The last step is for students to turn on offline access for G Suite tools before they go offline. This can be done from the settings page in Google Drive. Ask students to download lectures from Classroom and Drive, as well as notes from Slides and Docs to view later when internet access may not be available. If possible, we recommend taking a few minutes to test offline access to make sure it's working properly while Wi-Fi is still available. There are also lots of helpful extensions and apps that help enable classrooms to function offline. Just search the Chromebook App Hub or the Chrome Web Store using the Runs Offline option, and then ask your G Suite administrator to push out the extensions to each user. You can also get started with apps like Screencastify for recording and editing videos, or Soundtrap for recording and saving audio files. We know the teachers are always coming up with creative ways to help students continue their studies regardless of the circumstance. How do you help your students learn without an online connection? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And check out other episodes of EDU and 90 for more ideas on making the most of G Suite for Education. And subscribe to the Google for Education channel for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Check out our last episode for lots of updates from across Google for Education, including Teach From Home, Hangouts Meet, Apps for Distance Learning, and more.